Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and today it's a video that I, I, haven't, I have thought about this but I haven't really like decided on how to do it but today I want to talk about my favorite palettes that I had in 2022. But the thing that has been a little bit hard for me is because I did have a no buy last year so it didn't came in any new eyeshadow palettes in my collection and I didn't really use what I already have and I I wouldn't say that I found that many new favorites that I haven't talked about before but I guess that is how it is. So I have five palettes that I have picked out as my favorites and then I also have four palettes and a single shadow that I want to talk about and yeah I guess we just get started and I think that I can start with the single shadow and the palettes yeah you will see where I will go with this and one last thing before we go into eyeshadow palettes eyeshadow bases this has I have talked about these before my favorite eyeshadow bases for this year has been the Milani eyeshadow primer I love this eyeshadow primer. This is the best eyeshadow primer I have ever had. I did buy a new one. Um, this ran out earlier, early on in 2022 I think. I bought a new one which I hated. I bought this again and I still love it. And I also just want to mention the glitter primer from NYX. This is amazing and this is amazing. So these are my absolute favorite when it comes to eyeshadow base. For the record though, I haven't tried super many. So the palettes that hasn't been my favorite but that I really have loved this year, there have been something about these that I have been really really loving but I wouldn't consider them as my favorite palettes but maybe some of them. Okay, we can start with a single shadow at least. I did buy, I think it was 2021, this single shadow from Colourpop. This is the Fruit Punch, Fruit Punch, the Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter Eyeshadow. It looks like this. I did a look that was inspired by another YouTuber, Sophie a Swedish YouTuber Sophie, I can leave the video up here and I will leave Sophie down in the description. She did a look with this that did look amazing and I bought this and I did do a look that was inspired by her look and this was freaking amazing. I have had it for so long, haven't used it, didn't know why but this is an amazing eyeshadow. I this is the first super shock eyeshadow that I've tried, but I have really, really, really like this. And then if we go into the eyeshadow palettes that I have like been loving the vibe of, first <laughs> is the recently deceased from Beetle Melt, the Beetlejuice collection, and the palette looks like this. This is like one of the few melt palettes I have. I don't have that many, but I do really like all the shades and I did use this in my Halloween week and I think I did something with this purples as well. And I just really liking the vibe of this and also that like all the shadows are good even though it is a melt palette. I think that it's pretty unusual with Melt that like every shade is good in the palette, but in this one it is. Then two shadows from the Serenity and uh, why can't I like the Menagerie and the Nets Makeup Corner Serenity palette. These two little babies, the orange shimmer and the yellow shimmer. They are amazing. I do like this whole palette. I would consider it as one of my favorite palettes in my collection. But like these two shadows are amazing. I really love that this yellow one isn't a gold shimmer. It is a yellow shimmer. And they are really like special in my collection and I have been really really liking them. And I think I don't have that many like super good orange shimmers even though I love orange shimmers but in this palette 
they are amazing. Another palette that Annette's Makeup Corner also has done is the Giant Wolves with Odin's Eye. And it is a shade in this palette that I am amazed every time I use it. And the, I, it is this. This is the Eternal. And don't ask me if it is... I think it's just to do it just to do a chrome but it is like i don't know if you can see it it is like blue and pink and it's just amazing either to pair it with like this one it looks so so good or this one or this one it's something special about this shade and every time i use this palette i just want to dig into this and i guess that you can see that i have because it is a little dip in it and I think she did such an amazing job with this palette as well. I guess that Annette's do some of my absolute favorite palettes because I do love two of her collab palettes. And the last palette I want to talk about isn't maybe just only this palette, but I took this as, as a thing for this. This last year I did really start to like purple. Purple has never been a color that I've been really loving. I don't think it has been like super special. I don't think it has suit me, but I did really try with purple last year and I did start to love it. And one of the looks that I did really like was the one I did with a cotton candy from Beach Cosmetics. It looks like this and I did really like, I do really, really like purple. And purple eyes and a red lip is a really good combo. And I did use, I think it was maybe five purple, or I did five purple looks. And one look was with this one. And I did really like them. And then I have done purple looks after that, which was a little bit surprising to me. But yeah, I have been really, really loving them. And okay. Now we're going to dig into the five palettes that I've picked out as favorites. And I don't know if I'm going to rank these. I think not. No. And yes, you have seen almost all of these palettes before because uh, I think I have found what I do really love in my collection. And these five palettes I've talked about before. And I don't think that any one of these will surprise you actually. And I have actually used all these five palettes on my eyes today. So I can tell you in which from a color, which of the colors I've used in what palette. So okay, I'm going to take this palette fast because I think you're so sick and tired of this. And I think I have an eyelash in my eye that I can't like find. The side by side palette by Nabla. I know that some of you have bought this palette because of me and you love it as I do and I'm so happy about that. But yeah, this has been one of my favorite palettes ever since I bought it. I think it is an amazing palette. Amazing palette? Amazing palette. It is just so good. It is the perfect neutral palette that is fun to play with. And you can do a lot with this. I have done a grey look, which I did really like. I have done more goldish look, more silvery looks. And I don't think I've ever done a bad look with this. And the shade that I have used today from this palette is actually Ray of Light. I did just use it in my inner corners. But yeah, this palette I still do love. And it still is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. Another one is of course that it's freaking bats. I did use this in... I did have a collab theme week where I used this. I did use it in my first Halloween week I think. And then I've done a purple look using a shade in this one and this is just one of my absolute favorite palettes and the shade that I've used from this today is very this dark one. This is an amazing dark shade that is not black but it's a really really dark. It's what I have out here which you maybe can understand. It's an amazing palette and I think this is still in stock because I think they are going to restock this as long as people buy it. 
The shimmers are amazing. The mattes are really good. I love the color story. I love everything about this. And I have been really loving this shade this year when last year when I did start to really like purple. But yeah, this is this was one of my favorite palettes last year as well. Another one from Shroud is of course the Arcana. This I've played a lot with this year. I did a free looks one palette and I have used some of the shades in other looks and I did use this in my first Halloween week, I think. This is just a grungy dream. The shimmer in this palette is amazing. I am using this one on the majority on my lid today. It is an amazing dirty gold shade. I love it. I love to do an all shimmer lid with this palette because it is amazing to mix two of the shimmers. I do really love to mix this purple shimmer with this one. It looks amazing. But like every shimmer in this palette is so so good. I don't know like what Shroud is doing with their shimmers. But they are doing amazing things. And this palette just keeps being one of my absolute favorite palettes. I so badly wish it would come an Arcana 2. I would love that. Then a palette that um, you have seen a lot looks with. I've done three looks one palette. I have this palette I use pretty often in my Get Red With Me's and it is the Meet Me in the Underworld by Lewis Cosmetics. This was so raved when it came out. I bought it. I wasn't like super amazed by it. Then I just kept on using it and now I love it. It is absolutely one of my absolute top palettes as well. Yeah, because these are my favorite palettes from last year. The shade that I've used from this palette is Myth. This one I did use it in my crease. And what I do love about this palette, except for the packaging because I do really love it. The color story is the thing that I love. It is so easy to play with and if you want to do a green look you have it. If you want to do a really deep grungy look you have it and if you want to do a more reddish pinkish thing you have that as well. These shadows are not that the pigmentation isn't as strong as in the Arcana, for example, but I do really like it. It was the thing that I didn't... I was maybe not disappointed, I just maybe was a bit surprised that they weren't that pigmented in my first impression. But I just kept on using this one and I think it is such a good palette. And then the last palette that I want to talk about that I think is one of the most surprising palettes for me. Since I first heard of it, I was like, what is that for kind of shit? Then I saw pictures on it and I was like, yeah, maybe. And then I saw people use it. And I was, I needed that one yesterday. And that is, of course, Sprinkle a Little Magic from Colourpop and Tinker Bitch. I don't know what it is about this palette, but it's just something that sp sparks a little bit of magic in me. I don't know. This is not at all what I did imagine a Tinkerbell palette would be, but it's just, it has something about it. I do really love this big magic shade. It is an amazing shade. It maybe looks really, really boring, but it is just so, so good. And this one is really good as well. The only thing I wished for in this palette was that it maybe wasn't going to be that green. And I think that I would want one more shimmer because it's four shimmers and five, five shimmers and four mattes. I would like one more matte, but other than that, this palette has surprised me so, so many times. And the shadow that I have from this palette today is a small fairy. I have it like in here because I thought this was maybe going to be... I wanted something, some dimension to it. But yeah, this palette, 
I was so so surprised that the Tinkerbell if I would have seen like a list on all the collabs that Colourpop was going to do for a year and I was going to pick out what I was what I thought was going to be my favorite I would never have guessed that it was be a collab with Tinkerbell never never a chance in hell I do hate this little character she's awful and uh, that's all I have to say about her that was all for my favorite eyeshadow palettes for 2022 it was so fun last year to just keep using the palettes that I do have and really like finding maybe like should, could I say true favorites maybe I could but these five palettes has a real special place in my heart and what I I did fear a little bit for recording this video because it feels so strange to not have any new palettes to talk about and it feels like this is almost as my favorite for last year uh, my favorite palettes from 2021 so I was like maybe this is going to not be fun at all but I guess I just have found what I do love and it is so fun to see that I don't I'm totally fine with the eyeshadow palettes I have I don't need that much more and I haven't felt like I've been missing out on anything and felt like I have been missing something in my collection and that feels great to have that feeling. So yeah, I guess that, that was all for this video. I do really hope that you have liked it and please tell me which has been your favorite eyeshadow palette or your favorite single or your favorite look or your favorite... Um, what What is even the name your favorite color family color thing for 2022 it would be so fun to hear so yeah i do really hope that you like this video if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye